Hey people, and welcome back to Finding Paradise. We left off last time finding out why it is that Colin was inspired to become a pilot. Turns out it was from his uh, young love, his next door neighbor, his childhood friend, Faye. All she had to do was say a couple simple sentences to him and he wrote it down in his journal. And he went through with that dream. He went through with it. So let's see. Where does the journal take us now? Does it take us to one of its flights, maybe? One of its... Maybe his first flight. Prepare that memento. Oh, that's complicated. I'm not a fan of that. Oh. I say it's complicated, and I instantly solved it. I think I wasted zero moves there. Look, I'm not even consciously thinking at this point. I feel like it's... Muscle memory. My finger was like, I got this. Get this puzzles out of my way. Don't worry about it. Hey, we are in a plane. That's good. And I think he's in the co-pilot seat. He might actually be at the first flight. Thought it would be one of the earliest flights, but... Hmm. Yeah. Well, so much for the cliffhanger of whether he became a pilot, eh? More like Cliff Hangar. <laughs> ah, you're making dad jokes now. Love you, Rosaline. Love you. Oakland Center, Cactus 135, cruising flight level 39er. Not 39er, 39er 0. I am Captain Ernst. Air traffic control. Cactus 135, Oakland Center, altimeter setting 3007. See ya. That's one of the most stressful jobs, air traffic control. Pays well, at least. Altimer 3007, Cactus 135, out. I'm Captain Ernst. See, Greenhorn, you gotta play by the rules and use some proper radio words. Every single time. Even when you're not on the radio at home, to your wife, out. But the chief instructor said, Do I look like the chief instructor? Is her face also endowed with this award winning mustache? Wow. That's award winning for sure. I don't think I'll be going easy on you just because this is your first flight with the company. Yeah, it is his first flight. I predicted it. I feel good. Very easy prediction, but I still feel good about it. As my first officer, there's only two things I ever want to hear from you. And it's the same two things he'll say later. <laughs> there, yes, Captain, and landing gear down. That's funny, sir. <laughs> Do I look funny to you? Was that words? Yes, Captain. It wasn't. Say it to my face. Say it to my moustache. No, no, you don't, sir. What did I just say about the only two things, the only two things I expect to hear from you? Say it to my face. Huh? Yes, Captain. Do, do I look funny? So I do look funny to you. Something about my moustache is fabulous, isn't it? If you say you don't like it, please, I'll shave it. I don't know. I got some insecurities, please. Uh, landing gear down. <laughs> Son of a gun, they sent me all the brainless pre pretty ones. Pretty ones. What does that mean? <laughs> this, this can't be serious. Well, you know how memories get exaggerated sometimes. I kind of exaggerated. <laughs> no, it's been the I think I extra exaggerated there. That's a short memory. Looks like we're going to have two memories this episode now. Alright. Oh, we're already done with the flight. What's he got to say? Charlie. Well, how was the first day? Must be one of the uh, flight attendants. It's Captain Ernst. Oh, like that. I barely did a thing but sit there. <laughs> yeah, you should probably get used to that for a while. Are you hazing me? Please. Forget about him, though. You got any plans for the night, baby? <laughs> Dang. Well, the flight attendants and I were thinking of taking you out for some drinks to celebrate. No, we all call you the pretty one, even Captain Ernst. <laughs> I'll tell them thanks, but I'd better head straight back home to the wife, sir. I mean, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My wife's just about halfway in her first trimester. I'm away for long enough as it is. Wow, double congrats. Got a name picked yet? Yeah, we're thinking Asher. Oh, that's nice. Oh, is there some momentum? Let's go find the last memory. Uh, My wife's... Uh, where's the last memory? Did I miss it? I'm hovering over things. Let's go back here. I might have missed it. Let's go talk to them again. Oh, wait, it was, it's just the journal again. 
Is he still keeping journals in this stuff? It's just some sort of pre-flight checklist glued on there. There we go. I am full. All right, let's go in here. I, we know, we know, we know. I'm trying to break open your pilot's hat that you lost when you were rushing to try to go see your child. You know, you missed the birth flow. That's one of your regrets. All right, prepare this memento. Get a move on. All right. That's a lot of hats. And this moves every direction, so what does that mean? So it's just like, it's basically just like an empty block or something? Though that means that the only way you can clear things like down here and up here. Is that what you mean to say? Alright. Well, no big deal. It's cool little insignia for the pilot's head. Alright, let's open it up. Go take a trip. I'm gonna be on a plane myself tomorrow morning, huh? Dating this recording. <laughs> Ooh, boy. It's forever ago. Got his backpack on. His pilot's hat. Oh, they're gonna ask about the airport stuff. She went with him. That's nice. Go on, ask him. That's a paper plane symbol, too. They're just so ridiculously cute, but I feel so bad for Sophia. Whatever happened. <sighs> Come on, buddy. You can do it. Ask him. Um, excuse me? Are you an airline pilot? It's a small municipal airport, kid. You won't find any airlines there. I'm a charter pilot. You looking to charter a plane, kid? I'll take you anywhere. No questions asked. I'm looking to learn to fly. First, you want to start with Flight Simulator, kid. You got a pilot stick and... Well, it's not a pilot stick, a joystick or something. Come on. Can you teach me? <laughs> Looking for an early start, huh? Want to get a mentor? Just like, now, let's start flying? That's great. At least he's helpful. Sounds like you want to talk to the pilot school. The, fl the flight school instead. Make a turn up ahead and follow the hall. We'll deal with you at dispatch. Huh. That's convenient. See, I told you it's worth a try. Yeah. Vending machine. I'll go check out that important memory later. I want to see the vending machine first. Barry. Seems important. He has like an actual silhouette. Ah, give me my fix, you stupid thing. Why do I never learn? I wish Dr. Watts would just step in and help him. That'd be nice. I guess we might get into flight school if he remembers Barry. Oh, it's a tropical island, maybe? Flying some little engine plane. Oh no, but it is related. I think this painting was hanging in Colin's attic when I went there earlier. Took home a souvenir, I guess. Yeah, he must have been involved in the event. I bet he knows something about it. Hey, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Yeah, I'm trying to find out how to become a pilot. Oh, that's simple. You get an instructor and you train. I'm actually working on my own license. Halfway done, in fact. Isn't it expensive to train? Yeah, but that's why I'm working here part time. Pays not much, but the discounts on the training flight sell. That's probably that's really convenient. I mean, pay can't be much. There's like all this stuff, but like not that much is gonna be purchased. Let's be real. This municipal airport. I've been to like a few small airports. Something like uniquely charming about them. I don't know what it is. It's kind of cute, rustic. <laughs> ah, pure art. What are you guys doing over here? Let's go look at this thing over here first. I think a diagram? Poster of the control panel. Yeah. Alright, now let's go look at the real gem. <laughs> well, what in the world is that? Just leaving something for the class. Maybe the head should have been smaller for aerodynamic sake. The ears more curved, I don't know. Who cares? It's got an extra propulsion coming out of the butt. What is this, Neon Cat? Like, Virgin Point Zero One? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, that might be a place we go. First, let's go check this out. That's a memento. That's locked. Can't go here. Let's go talk to this. Hey, you might want to tell your folks that there's a broken ceiling coming in about five, 1500. Well, sounds like someone's getting rescheduled. 
Oh, I see. That was Ringo. Captain. We do offer flight training and you do meet the requirements? Oh, that's nice. But it's costly. Is there any other way at all? Well, that's not up to me to say, but why don't you check with the owner? He's on break right now and I'll let him know you're coming. Just gonna get like a totally super discounted thing. The owner of the entire airport. <laughs> the, the owner of the entire airport? Yup. It's his family owned airport. He's off to set the other side of the hall. Did he maybe get the name Adger from this guy? Is that like his middle name or some shoe? I don't know. Did you hear that? It's family owned. What does that mean? It means that it's owned by a family, duh. And also that it's probably mafia. <laughs> it's probably mafia. Mafia? Huh? Uh, what mafia? And I'm behind you, you know? Yeah, just like in the Godfather. Let's go visit them. Capiche? What? Uh, I'm scared. Hey, don't, don't spook me like that. Silly kids. Mafias were... Uh, movies. I don't know. I was trying to make like a parody of the tricks commercial, but I already said silly kids, so I don't even know what to say now. This does look feel like a godfather sort of thing. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. So, you're the kid they told me about. <laughs> Look, sir, I don't want any trouble. Of course you don't, son. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. There's word out on the street that you want to become a pilot. Yes, sir. Oh, God. But you have no experience. No, 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 sir. No background. No. I'm sorry. You have no money. You coming to my house. My airport. I don't say ask him to become a pilot. <laughs> you you, <laughs> you you come here on the day of my own dotted flight exam to request my hospitality to make use of my facility without an offer of anything in return. Do you disrespect me and my family's airport? Psst, tell him you've got strong arms that can help out around the airport. Um, I've got a reasonably, you know, reasonably strong arms from lifting cellos. I can help at the airport. Oh, you're saying, are you saying you're up for work? Yes, yes, you are. Yeah, I am. Mm, interesting proposal. Now you're making an offer that I might be interested in. It's true. There have been a few positions opening up recently. Perhaps we could use a hand. Very well. Your offer is one I won't refuse. Another amaretto sour, Ricardo. Hold the amaretto. Only sour for me. <laughs> Kid, you work for me now. And with the earnings, you shall pay for your training. One flight at a time. You're part of the family now. Quick, thank him and step back. Thank you for your kindness, sir. Ah, uh, I will take my leave now. See, you did it. Wait a minute, all that's happening is just that I applied for a job. Shh, you're practically the underboss now. Oh, shoot, man, that's too much. I didn't sign up for that. So, uh, assuming exaggeration of memories, is this, like, racist to Italians? I can't tell. Italian isn't a race, Neil. But he does seem to have a tendency for getting creative with his memories. Hey, maybe that's just what he gets for watching that movie when he's eight. That's true. <laughs> with Rudog sitting by his lap watching that movie. Anyway, anyhow, let's see if Adon has anything for us. Note first, Gio. Broom, gotta clean up. Practically the underpass. <laughs> you got anything for us, Adon? Any sour? Was that a cat? Me. I think the cat broke. <laughs> Part of the memory is like I'm done with too much. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the memento. Huh. Did not expect that. We'll find out where the drink takes us. Maybe his 21st birthday or something like that. Or maybe it's like flight exam graduation or something, which means we're getting closer to the middle. We'll find out where it is next time on Finding Paradise. If you liked this episode, leave a like, subscribe to become a main character, and bye for now.